Coming up, a Sad Styles production. Get into it. Andrew, we're getting closer and closer. We're inching up on the release. Some of the major games of 2023. Oh. I, I'm thinking like front and center. One of my most anticipated games, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, uh, I don't, I, you know, we talked about some of our most anticipated games on a, a past episode, but I'm, I'm really holding out hope that this mm -hmm. is the dating simulator version of Legend of Zelda that, that we've always wanted. That's kind of my, my, I'm wait, hold, you think I'm this up. Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, comes is a out 2023. dating simulator. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how they're going to go. They, they've been, they've been keeping it really close to their chest. And yeah. I, I think that this is the one where you just travel from different village to different village on the back of your trusty steed, Epona, yeah. or whatever you want to name it. And yeah. you go and you try to court the different villagers. So you think, that, so you, you think, do you think all of a sudden now after so many iterations of this game, they're going to take a sharp left turn and go dating simulator. Yeah, see, it isn't. If you've been paying attention, right. it isn't all of a sudden. Uh, and I've been outlining a lot of this in my fanfic. I'm not sure if you've Your been fanfic? Yeah, oh, go. you pretend like you haven't read it, but you know this. They've, I, been, they've been hinting at it. Right. That this is going to be the dating sim version. Why do you think this? I said this about Wind Waker, and I was close. I said this about Twilight Princess, and I was close. Right. I said this Good. about Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And I was pretty freaking close. You thought all of those would be dating simulators. I thought they would. And I think that this is finally the one that we get where we're dealing wow. with dating sim Zelda. Is this the kind of stuff that you think about all the time? Like I think, I think about it all the time, Andrew. I've got a full list of, of, of franchises that we've got that I think need a full genre swap. Oh, Mikey. Okay, well, just keep them to yourself, okay? Let's not talk to anyone about them. Okay, I will definitely keep them to myself. Perfect. Or... We can go over it this week on the Retrograde Podcast as we imagine all your favorite franchises as brand new genres. So not to yourself, eh? And welcome to the Retrograde Podcast where we take your perfect games and change them completely. My name is Andrew Baskin, and with me as always is the bad boy of podcasting, Mr. Bebop himself. Mikey the Magician Aaron Worth. <laughs> the Magician. Yeah, because I'm going to take all the things you love and make them disappear before your eyes. Oh my Amazing goodness. Amazing that a magician can do that. Yeah, it really And get is. away with it. I know. And we clap. Yeah, but when like, I do very it. Very good. Yeah, when you make someone think disappear. Yeah. Yeah, the police are like. There's it, like a Netflix documentary or two out there. Yeah. It is, it is, I will never find it endlessly fascinating that we're like, murder is fascinating. It serial is. killers are fascinating. Yes. And we're now picking out <laughs> crimes where the families are still alive and they're oh, like, yeah. hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> what, why, what, what are we doing? Like uh, uh, Evan Peters won for playing Jeffrey Dahmer. He won a Golden Globe, uh, you know, last week. And, uh, and uh, the families were like, uh, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you part of me wants to go, ah, pipe down. You're like, yeah, if I had a family member die of this, I'd probably be like, it's not fun. Andrew, we live in a democracy. Kind of. They get one vote. Mm -hmm. You and me, two to one on their one vote. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to overpower them immediately. And you guys don't know this. Everyone can vote on the Golden Globes. Yes, everyone. Everyone can vote. I've, I've been sending, I've been casting my ballots, send them to Golden Globe, care of Johnny Depp, Dot com. Yeah, I always thought it was weird. Golden Globes at gmail.com. Like, yeah, you just buy the domain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You would think they would. You think they would? Well, look, we're uh, we're your favorite video game podcast. We you are. know us. You love us. Mm -hmm. The uh, two greatest gaming critics that you've probably never heard of. Yeah. Uh, and today we're going to do something very special. We're going to take a look at all of your perfect games, all all the franchises oh. that we can think of. We've amassed a massive list of them. Some of the most popular, some a little bit niche. And what we're going to do is we're going to randomly match them mm -hmm. with brand new genres. We're going to randomize a franchise. We're going to randomize a genre, and then you and I are going to go back and forth and pitch the listener or the prospective, I don't know, Shark Tank publishing kind house, of thing, Shark yeah. Tank, on how this game is going to be the next greatest seller. I think that's great. Mr. Wonderful's there. Mr. Wonderful is there. Uh, Kevin O'Leary, oh, his, 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 his wife is there driving the boat because oh, he doesn't drive his own boat uh, into... Was it another boat that he crashed another into? Boat and killed another somebody, boat yeah. and killed yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a true story. <laughs> a true People true know story. Kevin O'Leary, right? I, I think he's kind of famous. He's on TV all the time. It depends. Yeah. Do, are you old or do you have parents? Mm. Yeah, you'll know who Kevin Leary is. Are then. you asking me? Uh, no, because I, I am. Uh, you know how old I am. I've told. I tell you this every time you come into my house. Uh, it's either 19 or 48. There's nothing Ooh, in between. Ooh, that is a good point. And I was born in 1948, so yeah. you do the math. Um, 52, 55, oh. 75. I'm not going to question you on it. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Even you though good I'm luck. pretty sure you're wrong. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, you know, we mentioned we we mentioned Kevin O'Leary uh, and him traveling by boat with a loved one. And I've been playing a video game in <laughs> which you travel by boat with a loved one often. And oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. God of War. A it, couple of them. A couple of them. Yeah, yeah. that's true. We, we've we've brought it up a couple of times. Yeah. Now, I, I think you and I, Andrew, are going to do a full detailed breakdown of God of War Ragnarok. Great. Once I've completed the game in 2027. Yeah, I was going to um, say. No, I'm actually getting close. I, I think I'm about halfway through at this point. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm making some good progress. I'm really fucking loving it. Um, I'm amazed at how much I'm enjoying it mm -hmm. compared to God of War 2018. We talked about this uh, as well. You and I were not the most enormous fans of God of War 2018. No. And here's kind of what I'll do so that we don't get into spoiler territory too much. Okay. Can you put into words what it is about God of War Ragnarok compared to 2018 that makes you like Ragnarok where you didn't appreciate 2018? Um, That's a good question. I'm not really too sure. I, I think... Uh, I think the storytelling's uh, more compelling. Uh -huh. uh, I think I think it was easier to stay interested in the main in the main story, um, and I found it a little bit more linear, which I kind of liked too. You know, there is exploring definitely, but there's there's less of like, oh, now where am I? Like, yes, I just and you know what, that could be straight up in confidence. Like, I t I totally am with it. It might be a user error, but I just found myself always being like pushed forward. There's always thrust you know, to, to the main story of the game. I, so you hit the nail on the head for me specifically. Yeah. I actually am not in the same boat as everyone else when it comes with how great the story of this game is. Oh, really? I don't think it's amazing. Oh. I think it's, I think we as gamers are giving it more credit than it deserves. Mm. Similar. And again, not to continue throwing shade at Christopher Judge because he does a, a good performance as Kratos in this game. Sure. But he is not the best performer. No. And yet every gaming fan or every God of War fan thinks this guy is is actually God. Um, um, uh, so so I think that people give it a bit too much credit on, on the storyline front. Good, but not the greatest thing I've ever seen. I've seen better movies, put it this way. I've seen a lot of better movies hmm. with, with a better storyline. However, in God of War 2018, I talk about traveling around by boat mm -hmm. and finding yourself in these kind of open world or open area situations where there's like an island here and an island there and you can go in here and find a puzzle there and oh, there's something off to the side over here. And God of War 2018 felt full of that. Mm -hmm. Whereas apart from which I think is a big misstep of Ragnarok, apart from like early on in the game, when you first get out into that open harbor and, and the first time you get into a canoe and you as as Kratos and Atreus are kind of meandering about in in uh near that the uh the the not the gnomes what am I, what, are, what are they what, the what, dwarves what? the dwarves oh i know exactly where you are you sure yeah how far no no no, no. This, this, game are this, you? this is what i was saying is, oh, okay. is the, the the very beginning of the right. game i think it was a misstep about by putting you in that boat and having right. you explore islands in a very similar way that you did in god of war 2018 i was like this is not the game for me. This there, there's more of this exploration that I didn't want to have. Right. Uh, and and what I what I wanted was like put me in a dungeon. I know where the main path is. I know where I I can like go off to the side to go look for a bit more treasure or loot or something like that. There are audio cues telling me when to do that. I think the dungeon design in this game is fantastic, mm -hmm. specifically because it's more linear. The whole game feels more linear, yeah. and I love that about it. Yeah. It puts me in a situation. It says here's some enemies. Go go play around with the combat. Go find some loot over here. I don't even really spend much of the currency all that often. I'm just having fun playing no. the game. But that linear feeling of the game is so welcome to me in a in a in a world of AAA titles that yeah. it feels like everything has to be open world. Yeah, yeah. No, I I totally know what you're saying. So yeah, no, I'm I'm glad you're I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, uh, did, I'm excited did, for you to finish it. Did you love the combat? Uh, sure. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't like I was like, holy shit, this is this combat's incredible. You know what I mean? I really I thought it was a means to an end. Oh man, see, I I I don't know what it is. I yeah. I love the combat. This is some of the greatest combat in any game that Whoa. I've played in the last ten years or so. Wow. You know, not the best, but yeah. I, I have similar feelings towards this combat as I did to say uh like like Batman, um, um, uh, Arkham Asylum. Yeah. Like the first time I played sure. that that style of combat, I was like, "Oh, this is brand new to me. Like, this feels really good. I'm I'm liking the swapping in between weapons and yeah. this, and it feels manageable. But you look really cool when you're doing it, and when you get into a rhythm, you feel kind of indestructible. The parrying mechanic is exactly as forgiving as it as it should be. Mm. Um, you know, I, I think I mentioned this last week, but after having played 
Elden Ring and parrying quite often and failing at doing so, having a forgive uh, a forgiving parry mechanic in this game just makes it feel so much fun. Did you get into parrying at all when you were playing this? Yeah, I think yeah. you kind of have to, right? I would assume so. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, no, I did, and I. I don't know. It didn't leave as much of an imprint on me as it seems to have you. But I, it's funny because I'm almost like I went from liking God of War 2018 even less than you did to yeah. now liking Ragnarok even more than than you did. Well, Potentially. Let's, we'll, well, see. Let's, we'll, let's see. see yeah, let's see what it's done. Yeah, let's see what it's done. Yeah, this is like watching the first 30 minutes of a movie and being like, you know what? This is the best movie I've ever seen in my life. It's happened before and it'll happen again. <laughs> Speaking of great movies, we watched Megan together yeah. recently, and yeah. we're going to be talking about that over on the Mushroom Club very soon. So if mm-hmm. you want to join us over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash retrograde podcast, you can join us for $5 US per month. We have two monthly bonus episodes, some check-ins, that sort of thing. A great community over there. Yeah. We're going to be spoiling Megan, uh, M3GAN, which, by the way, you know, without getting into it just too much uh, uh, before we spoil it over on the Mushroom Club, an unbelievable movie. Yeah. Like way better than you're probably assuming it's going to be based on the trailers because I don't think the trailers do a great job of 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 conveying the tone that that movie is going to take. Oh, actually, I completely disagree. We'll oh, talk about really? it at the Mushroom Club. Okay. But that, I think there's a reason it's been so hyper successful in its first couple of days. And I think it's because people are like, oh, fuck, yes, finally, yeah. we get to have yeah, fun yeah, yeah, in the yeah, movies. Yeah. So go see it. Go see it. Go in a theater too. Like, yes, the part of comedy and horror, man. Like this, th- these are the things you got to go see. You got to so people laugh at the screen and yell and do stuff. It was so much fun with an audience. So go see it, and then you can go listen to Mushroom Club. Yeah, here, hundred percent. It. it was it was a ton of fun there. Um, um. So moving on though to to one more kind of topic that I want to get into with games. We're still relatively early on in sure. the year twenty twenty, the year of our Lord twenty twenty three. Yeah, who's your Lord, by the way? Uh, well, obviously Michael Jordan, 2023. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, this is the year of my Lord. This is the year of your yeah. Lord, twenty twenty three. Yeah. Next year we all die. Ritual sacrifice. Let's go. So we all. But what if we choose not to take part? Well, you're not really religious, are you? It's not like a cafeteria. You can't but, just pick and choose. No, Michael said, Jordan said we got to kill ourselves, so we're going to kill ourselves. All of us? No, only the people that believe. Oh, yeah. How are you going to do it? Uh, I'm going to try and jump uh, jump from the free throw line. <laughs> miss. <laughs> Split myself in half. Okay. Just, there's Whoa. a lot that could happen in between you jumping and splitting yeah. in half. But yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. It's going to be like a Mortal Kombat thing, though. Like the free throw line over that is spikes. And so like, oh. if I don't, only those that are truly worthy, uh, which is, of course, only Michael. Only, only one person. Yeah. So he's going to do it and he's going to survive. Oh, yeah. And all of his followers are going to die. Yeah. Now that's just the, the way he wants to live into. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, he's uh, he's the best. I uh, uh, no, the question that I want to oh, ask yes. you uh, looking forward to the rest of the year in an ideal world. You know, we all we all think this is going to happen at the beginning of a year before it starts to get just as busy as every other year. But we all want to have these goals set for ourselves, including like going into our back catalog and playing a game, clearing yeah. something out of our back catalog. If you could pause the world at some point this year for a week, a month and play one game in your back catalog to completion mm. and beyond. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. What game would that be? What game would or that franchise? Be? Yeah, franchise. Well, I've already said Zelda on here, so yeah. I almost have you. Uh, have you? Have you come any closer to starting a new Zelda game? No. Yeah. No. It's a big undertaking. Sure. I, I. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I don't know. Haven't started. Oh. You know what I mean? Well, I might. I might start and then be like, Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> like, what? Have, what nightmare have I created for myself? I actually wonder if you're gonna like something like Ocarina of Time, guys. I. I Trust me when I say this keeps me up at night that I've said this out loud. Yeah. I could just shut up. Yeah. Nothing. Instead, I was like, I'm going to play them. What if I come on here and be like, those games are not good. I see. Somebody might tackle me. I seriously don't know if you're going to like them. I think I think you'll you would like Breath of the Wild if you played it. And I think, you know, assuming all things being equal, Tears of the Kingdom, you will also like. But I wonder, I'm very curious to see whether or not you actually enjoy a pre Breath of the Wild Zelda game. With. Should I start with Breath of the Wild? No, I, I think it's, I think it would help you to contextualize what Zelda is by right. playing one of the iconic ones like Ocarina of Time. So I started up and I'm like, oh, it's a video game. Oh, this is where oh, they come from. This okay. is where the ideas are. Interesting. But like points of reference and just understanding sure. what that would have felt like, you know, imagining if you had played it back when it first came out on the N64, I mm. think, you know, I think that would be a lot of fun for you. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I, I don't know. Where should I start? What is the first game? I, that I should start with, not the first game canonically. So I probably have a weird answer for you because I don't know if you will start Ocarina of Time and finish it. Mm. I think I still think Link's Awakening, the remake on the Switch, is okay. one of my most delightful 
experiences that I've had on the Nintendo Switch. I fucking loved it in yeah, my whole life. You had a little delightful experience. It was a delightful experience. And when you see the graphics, you know exactly what I mean. It's adorable. Okay. It oh, looks it like is. you're playing with little miniature sculptures and stuff. You know that that camera filter where it looks like it like takes real things, but it looks like it turns everything into like toy cars. Oh, okay. do you know what I'm talking about? Not have you ever really. seen that? No, oh, okay. sorry. Well, yes, it's impossible yes, for me to explain. Yeah, no, sorry. It looks like that's what you're playing. I, I feel like if you looked up a screenshot, you would actually see that. Sure. Um, um, the, uh, I, I think for me, you know, I, I talked about wanting to play uh, Persona 5 on this mm. uh, in, the, in the past, like towards the end of the year, how I, I really want to give that a, the old college try. I'm just not sure that I'm I'm ever going to have the 160 hours that it takes to, 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 to actually beat it. But I think if I could pause time, that might be the one game. You know, mm. Persona fans are just fucking die hard about the franchise. Okay. And I'd love to know what they're talking about, but I just don't know if I can commit that much to it. What if you, what, what is what's stopping you, time? I think so. Yeah. I think it's knowing that if I start, I'm either going to only get five hours in and and be no better off, right. or I'm going to be hooked for good. Uh, but I well, think, you need you have you have you have a space for a good hooking right now. I do have a, that's because my lack of Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch is now you know absentee father and you. It went to go pick up some milk and it's gone now forever. I and, haven't played it all week. Oh my god! And how do you feel? <laughs> like I'm not making a joke. Really good. That's great. It is. So that so are we learning something then? But I want to play it right now. Why? Because you just mentioned it? Yeah. Is it that you don't think about it? And then when you no, do no, think no, about no, it? No, 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 no. Similar to how I gave up McDonald's in grade nine, and I haven't had it ever yeah. since. Have, have you said this on the podcast? I don't before? know if I have ever said that yeah. on the podcast. Like he doesn't eat McDonald's. Yeah. I gave it up in grade nine, and I haven't had it since. And I miss it every day of my life, especially the French fries. Well, because I now I'm I'm too in too deep as some forty one once said. You're stubborn. I'm still a little bit, a little bit stubborn. (laughs) Um, uh, Similar, not like I like McDonald's. I could care less. It's just more like I don't know. I don't know. Just just, you, you made one thing out. You drew your line. Yeah, and there it is. If I cross that, it's not like no hamburgers. No, no, I I will eat hamburgers. Yeah, not from Burger King, not from Wendy's. I don't eat those either. No. You like, like fast food burgers? I mean, I like them. Andrew, I love them. What's your favorite fast food burger? Oh, God damn. You know what? There was a Canadian brand, Licks. I think that's oh, Canadian, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. When they first Hyper. started out, they made my favorite hamburger. Yeah. For sure. But um, I think Wendy's actually makes a really good burger, I if Wendy's I'm remembering correctly. Wendy's is good. I, we don't have a ton of Wendy's in Toronto. That's changed recently. Do you, do you like Wendy's? I've, I had very little Wendy's in my life. Oh, you had? But uh, So you don't like Wendy's nuts right across your face? Hey! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I uh, yeah, you know. Actually, funny enough, this is like a very you and I joke there, but like a very uh, you and I story. So, Licks was a uh, Southern Ontario brand, so yes. the province we grew up in, and they disappeared in the last what, whatever twenty years or something like that. There is one left, mm-hmm. and it is on the way to your cottage. That's and true. So we drove there. I requested was, that they remain open. We have that pull. You have that means. It's amazing. <laughs> we stopped there. Yeah, uh, and got it. So disappointing. Well, that it's barely a Lex. It was also like 50 bucks for two people. And yes. Like, Jesus yes. Christ. How yeah. is this possible? So yes, I just wanted to say like, it, it's almost like sometimes some things are just better in your memory. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I can't imagine the fries will love up to if I ever have McDonald's again. Mm. But if I, sorry, when I am on death row and I get my last <laughs> meal, honestly, rather than a fancy meal, I think I would go McDonald's. Well, that's a good way to. So yeah. I can diarrhea all over the executioner. <laughs> They're going to clean that chair. I'm going to leave them with a mess. Yeah. Just like, yeah. You should look at me like I haven't gone to the bathroom in like a week. <laughs> I am so ready to destroy your life. You will always remember me. Not for my crimes, which there are plenty. <laughs> but because of the whole mess, I will. You've leave. seen my Netflix documentary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's out before I've been murdered by the state. <laughs> I just imagine the gallery of families of your victims. Uh, staring at you and you're like, I am, I am gonna shit <laughs> everywhere. And you're like, oh no, they're crying. I imagine the galleries of my victims all the every time I close my eyes. <laughs> oh no. God. Do you think do you think I'd go if you to my to Yeah, I'd go to your execution. Would you give me like a little thumbs up? Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be like, you look good. <laughs> I'd be you're like looking good. They'd be like, prisoner, are you ready? I'm assuming they ask if I'm ready. I think so. Yeah. Like like a roller coaster, like is everything in place? You gotta go <laughs> check. You got the one guy. Everything out of your, your pockets. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then uh, boom. <laughs> and you look at me and like through a tearful, tearful eyes, you say, and welcome <laughs> to the retrograde. I, we have to do like a game over together. Oh, wow. That's a great one. Yeah. Uh, I, of course, I want to wear like a veil of some kind, like, you oh, know, like those yes, like dark yes, veils. Yes. 
it'll look hilarious too because if you can't see my camera, I'm bald. So I'd wear a little fascinator and a veil and I would look like a Rocky Horror Picture Show character. Oh, you great. could you could wear the veil. I would also appreciate it if you wore the tight the tie-dye sweatshirt that you're wearing right now, but with a black veil. 100%. Like, what the fuck is this dude's problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy creeps me out more than the guy who's about to get electrocuted. <laughs> so we sure he's the one that did the crimes? And I'm like, it's very sad, isn't it? <laughs> he wanted to do more and he got caught. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember or, or do, do you think do you ever think about this because i think about this all the time you think about this all the time i, I don't about, know what you're gonna I say think, I think about this think about this all the time okay if you got away with murder in the <laughs> 80s you must be oh. shitting yourself every time netflix refreshes their documentary series. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm sure i would have heard about it i just want to check i just want to check honey yeah, <laughs> yeah. cold case it's cold case it's cold case. yeah yeah. You know, except if you murder in the 70s, you're you're scot free, baby. Yeah, There's, that's you're, true. You're, you're you're in hog heaven. Very little chance. Very little yeah. chance of you getting caught. That's um, why I like that Golden State Killer that got caught in the uh, I'll Be Gone in the Dark oh, documentary. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of like, you're like, how? Yes. You, you, also, like, eh, no, I say this all now. I say this now. I would be racked with guilt the whole time. Like, just thinking about, like, well, oh, they're you, always coming. You also probably wouldn't do a murder it's also what's stopping me from That's, murdering yes <laughs> yes the major thing that is the small threshold that is holding me together <laughs> number one jail time yeah number uh, two i don't know sometimes i think i'm like i could do well in jail i think i would be okay <laughs> no mike you would not <laughs> i think i would be everyone's fish <laughs> oh, oh, oh okay. they would pass me around like yeah. a tuna salad on a sunday get together yeah <laughs> and i would just everyone would be like we can't kill him yeah we need him <laughs> we need him for that for that good sex. He screams so perfectly. Yeah. I think they would love you. I think I'm just, I'm pretty easygoing. So I think I would be okay with like the horrible sleep schedule. The food yes. being terrible. <laughs> uh, threats of violence all the time. Uh, but Andrew, you're such a foodie. I am. This gruel is needs more salt. <laughs> I guess spoon thrown in my head. Speaking of, uh, I also just watched The Menu recently. Oh, yeah. uh, also a great movie. Yeah, and maybe really to be featured good. on our, our Mushroom Club later on as, as well. Um, that movie's uh, phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Before we get into the topic of today, which is the, uh, 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 we take your perfect game and we imagine it as yeah. something completely different. Game uh, roulette. Does anyone have a, no. Does anyone have a good name for this? We have 10 good names and we can't figure out which one. Freaky Friday Mushroom Mashup isn't uh, doing it for you. <laughs> So for you, Friday Mushroom Mashup. Yeah. Uh, we talked about, I think Game Roulette was the first idea we yeah. had. Yeah. Uh, like spinning a wheel and then seeing yep. which ones we got. And your of game course, is perfect. We change everything. Yeah, your game is perfect. We change yeah. everything. You took my game and put it in your game. What was the what was the chocolate and peanut butter one we had? Oh. Uh, you got your game in my game. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So yes, uh, Mikey, describe what we're going to be doing today. Okay, I will. Uh, so I guess I'll just move past the thing that I was going to do before. Oh, I no, no, no. Please no, no, do no. that. I just want I just want to hear suggestions. I just was prompting uh, the D-pads yeah. to go, when you hear the description if you yes. think of a title let us know i just want to say this because it's in the news and because it is big news right What's now in the news? What's uh, in the news? and i think it may be i think it may be a sign of things to come ubisoft uh canceling three major upcoming releases and delaying skull and bones uh one of the games on your most anticipated lists a game that has already been delayed several times i listen up fraudulent yes yeah yeah, yeah. you're you're not allowed <laughs> to go back and listen to we are going to re-record andrew's <laughs> upcoming 2023 episode we have to bring it up because it's major gaming news yeah. right now uh and and the reason i say potentially a sign of things to come it just seems that the more we learn about the gaming industry and what goes into AAA titles, uh, the creation of them uh, and the support around them, the less confident I am that the model is going to work as it currently stands no. moving forward. How many more gods of war are we going to get? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's almost a guaranteed super seller, but do you base an entire studio around it? I, I guess. But I think just more and more we're going to see major studios even like ubisoft and what worries me is something like even rockstar which i think has enough yeah. income from from some of its other titles or gta kind of just raking yeah. it in time after time well it's kind of like marvel or something like that like oh yeah. i'm really worried about them like yeah they could come up four duds and yeah, I think yeah, yeah 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 you know the problem though is though it's not just video games this is everything you're seeing all this uh what was that netflix show uh, i'll think of it in a second but is that like all these shows are just getting canceled blankly even after getting renewed or right. they're halfway through a season and they right. pull the plug you're like, well, you've already spent half the money. What are you trying to do? And I think Batman or Batgirl, sorry. Oh, Batgirl. That movie was done. The the series. Wasn't it a fucking series? No, it's a movie because Michael Keaton was in it, which also bumps me out too. Oh, but, shit. Uh, Michael Keaton comes back for Batman and makes two stinkers. I'm just assuming the Flash is going to suck. <laughs> uh, what do, they, do they even release that movie now? The poster came out and it looks like a student film. Like, oh, no. It's like, oh, no. Except Batman's on it a little bit and yeah. he has the yellow logo and I'm like, fuck this is awesome oh, that's cool and except except like why why is this why whatever 
Um, except I, also today, Ezra Miller like pleaded, like he settled charges and you're like, see, this is like nice uh, business. Like we'll give you the money. Just get this fucking out yeah, of here. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, it's happening on all industries. And I think it's now affecting video games too. And especially now that video games have been bloated with their budgets the way that they are, it's now being treated like a movie or like anything else. Yeah. You cost a hundred million dollars, you know, halfway through, you might lose this or the delay schedule just all over the place. Just, yeah you know, uh, staffing shortages, things like that. This is why I encourage everybody to explore indie games more. Yeah, They are so right. good. I had, I think three or four of my top 10 most anticipated games of the year were indie titles. Right. Not because I was trying to make a point, but because oh. legitimately, I think that the level of quality and and uh, the ex how unique those experiences yeah. are is unlike what you're going to get in for lack of a better term, the lowest common denominator feel that Me. you get oh. in in oh, no, no, in, oh. in a major in a major video game. Oh yeah, because you have to be you have to pander to the most the largest number of people. I, I I hate that about myself too. That I always seem to gravitate towards these big titles and then everything else. I'm like, nah, I don't know. You know, we'll see. And I think you're much better for it. And I think if we had better habits like that, it'd probably be a healthier uh, environment for video games. Yeah, in if more people were don't like me don't oh god i just think the world would be a better place yeah because we'd have way fewer people yeah. uh, uh a lots of murders <laughs> lots so many murders if this was like a rick and morty thing where there's many of you just going around i'm like oh boy just what? all my friends just start disappearing i'm like what's, what's going on um uh speaking of disappearing take the idea of your perfect game and yeah. throw it out the fucking Get the hell out of here. as we mentioned we've taken a massive list of some of the most recognizable and some offshoot mm -hmm. uh, uh titles that andrew you and myself have played in franchises and video games and we've also taken a massive list of genres just about every genre yeah, that we can of think games. of types of games and what we're going to do is we're going to randomly select one of the games or franchises and we're going to randomly select one of the genres and we're going to reimagine and pitch what this game would look like if it were going to to be created and and look we know all these these triple a uh, uh development companies are going under i know they're going to need some ideas and andrew yeah. we're we're here to it's, uh it's mikey and i's job here this, this is now our job yeah. uh so what what we want to do is uh is spin the wheel okay spin which, the bottle sp spin the bottle yeah Oh no, you and I have to kiss again. <laughs> oh shit. All right, turn the mics off. Okay, here we go. Because we only do it for ourselves. <laughs> yes. Um, this isn't for your pleasure. No, Our it's only not. fans will will happen when we get desperate. Um, so I'm going to do uh so uh, uh the the list of numbers. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna put all of them in there. We've got one going for the the list of, of games and one going for the genres. There's okay. obviously different quantities of so, each. And Mike's so on a random generator give, here. You give you give me a random number from one to ten. <sighs> one to ten. Uh, yeah. four. Four. So I'm gonna click this button four times. Okay. It's gonna give us the number and that's gonna tell us what the game is. Okay. Okay. So one, two, okay. three, three four. We're looking at number 46, which is Gears of War. Whoa. So Gears of War is going okay. to be the game. And All now right. we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it for the genre. So Andrew, as we did last time, I want you to reach into that bag of tricks, AKA your vocal cords, mm -hmm. and give me a number from one to 10. Seven. Seven. Very good. One, two, three, four. Should have said five, two. <laughs> six, seven, 27. 27 is open world sandbox. Oh, wow. So, okay. So sometimes okay. we get, so we've done this before. Okay. Yes, we've we done have. this on the podcast before. And what we, what we found is that sometimes you get two mat that match up very nicely. Yeah. Well, you can imagine it quick, quickly. Yes. And some, which are going to take a little bit of work. For example, we once had a beer tapper and a rhythm game Yeah, and we ended up imagining a, a pretty decent idea pretty cool based game. on that. And if you want to hear the back catalogs of these, you can go again over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash retrograde podcast. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do, and that's where you get to hear us imagine a Mario Kart as a racing simulator, yeah. which was a real poll that we had and one of the biggest laughs that we had oh, uh, on the game. So it was amazing. We've got Gears of War as an open world sandbox. Okay. Now, before so let's we talk, let's talk. Well, oh, so sorry. Before, yeah, before we get into it, Andrew, uh, you're familiar. We've done Gears of War on the podcast before. We have. Um, is this a franchise that you that you like or are, are you kind of like look the other way on it? No, it's 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 one that I played. I think I played all three games. Yeah. And then I, I, I think know, there's there's more now. There's yeah, more yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah, the three, yeah. the three, you know, I stopped at three as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, oh, these are fine. But I don't think they left a huge impression on me. Uh, I think, you know, the biggest impression I have of Gears of War in the second, you, the second you say Gears of War, I always think about the uh, the commercial. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, oh, sad, sad world. Me are yeah. the familiar faces. Yeah. Worn out places. Right. Yeah, that song. 
worn out faces. Yeah, no, I think they get the idea. Yeah. yeah. Bright enough. No, 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 no. Okay, all right. Daily so, erases. <clears throat> yeah. Look right through me. Look right through me. Yeah. So, okay, we're going to get sued. Enough fun. On. That's true. I'm singing too loud. Um, but is it. No, remember, and then that song like made the charts because of it, and like no, 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 they got it, they got it. Is uh, and it made the charts because yes. of it. It was like such a great way to advertise a video game. It was, and it was, you know, I think you often now get the super serious kind of like hardcore game or hardcore movie dumbed down with like a very stripped down song in mm-hmm. a trailer. That is yes. a very common thing that you get now, and I don't recall seeing that too often before this gears of war spot no you see it more in like uh trailers for movies like i always mm-hmm. think about the social network with a choral version of radiohead right and you're like uh you're like oh it's very haunting you yes. know what i mean like which is this kind of idea yes, too. So, exactly uh yeah so okay so gears of war gears of war so open world sandbox game uh so this can take any form i mean we can imagine something like uh uh you know I, are are there loot elements like destiny style mm, interesting, elements interesting. i think one of the key things about gears of war is the us versus them humanities on its last leg kind of nature and in those sorts of stories that you hear one of the things that i like the most are the random pockets of civilization mm. and how important it is when you do run into someone else okay uh, okay so so I'm, we go. I'm picturing something like a th- it's third person. I want it to be third person, okay. similar to Gears of War. Nothing about the camera, I don't think, has to change too much. But the the uh, overall structure, I think, is going to be more stalker esque. Remember stalker? Yeah. We, we talked yeah. about stalker even on the the twenty three uh, 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 most anticipated games of of twenty twenty three. Yeah, because I think it's going to be about how quickly can you stay above ground without dying. Sure, and if you do die, I think you start from scratch oh. as another as another member of humanity. Right. Okay. Do you like that or, or is that I like too much? that because there's a couple ideas I got going yeah. on here. So you're traveling pockets to society to society, right? Yes. And the long drives in between are very dangerous. Right. Right. So you could do something with cars. Right. Where you're like, oh, that'd be kind of interesting. Oh, the, yeah. There the is, traversal. There is a great driving mechanic in Gears right. of War. Yeah. That's what I remember. That. It was kind of like a tank type yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it could be like the traversal idea that that's pretty cool. And then like, I know I kind of talked about this, but I know it's years ago now, but on the last time we did this kind of idea, it was like very Mad Maxy. Oh but yeah. Like there is something like desolate about sure. society that could be really good. Okay. But how about this? What if okay. I did something yeah, yeah. completely different? Okay. What were the villains called again? Grunts? Uh, locust. Locust. Hmm. What's grunts? grunts is Halo. Thank you. That's <laughs> what I was thinking of. But the locusts do grunt fairly often. I, especially when you're blowing them away. And chopping them with chainsaws. Right. What if it was open world? Cowards. Like- why? Why? Well, because like, just take it like a man, you locust. What? How do you take a? How do you take a chainsaw like a man? Quietly, right? <laughs> just accept it. It's happening already. Solemnly, wow. yeah. Saluting to the flag and doing the Lord's prayer. <laughs> I am picturing. I am picturing the scene in Drive. Uh, of course, you are almost always, always envisioning the scene. scene not that yeah. scene. Okay, yeah. Where Ryan Gosling is fixing an engine part while the party is going on in the other room and you yeah. can hear the music. Not, not that scene. No, no, no. I'm thinking of the scene where, uh, uh, who's the guy who plays Hank Scorpio? Uh, Albert, Albert Brooks. Brooks. Uh, nice. uh, slits the wrist of Brian Cranston. Yes. And he says, Shh, it's over. It's it's over. It's They're okay, friends, okay, but he okay, just okay. had to do it. It's, it's over. It's yeah. And Brian Cranston is resigned and accepts it. Do that, but there's a chainsaw. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, just accept it. Accept just it. accept like, it. <laughs> it's vibrating from the Thank chainsaw. You, sir. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry. You're, you're With saying. With an erection. Yeah. You were saying. Uh, I was saying, so what if you're the locusts mm-hmm. and your job. Oh, you're is, the locust. Yeah. Yo. Right? Okay. okay. What if you're the locust and you have to go around and eliminate these bases and last pockets of humanity? Oh, Andrew, I like this. Yeah, you like that? I like this a lot. Okay, all right. And the the interesting thing about that, or you know, can is is it asking too much where you have two campaigns? One as locust and one as No, I think this is a great idea. And I understand that it's open world, but in one element of it, you are more human oriented. I think we, I like to think of myself as more human oriented. More, I definitely than don't. you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I think I think it might actually be cool if we're like a, there was Emergence Day. Okay. The day which Gears of War came out, they called right. it. And I, I actually played Gears of War on Emergence Day. So my gamer tag has the icon that you only could get if you played Gears of War on Emergence Day. Wow. I have that. That's pretty cool. I know it's pretty cool. You don't have to tell me twice. Right. But you can if you want. And nah, I'm all ears. Once was good. Once was good. It Good. But you know what is the enemy of good? Great. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did I turn my arguments? <laughs> <laughs> wait okay there's something, something yeah there. there's something there so no i think what we do is we push forward 
400 years. Oh, whoa. Humanity is in more of like a Death Stranding style situation where you have some shitty roads, but some pockets where as long as the humans stay in these contained areas, the locusts can't really get to them. And the locusts, when you play as them, are more guerrilla warfare now. Whoa. So the roles have flipped a little bit. Gorilla Humanity locusts. used guerrilla locusts <laughs> with Che Guevara hats. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to make them all Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I do, what about that pushing it forward a bit so that so that you can you can risk it like almost as though going out in the daytime as a human is not that risky. Yeah. Unless you really find yourself out in an issue. Yeah. But at nighttime, that's when that you get the bats that you have to shine with the UV lights as the right. Gears of War franchise is established. The locusts are, are they're a bit more frequently uh, uh, out and, and at them. Um, um, but I, I kind of like this idea of, of there being sort of a safe time yeah. and just don't get caught when it turns to night. Oh, in I love that. World. Oh, yeah. I think that's totally yeah. fun. And then you could prepare, especially with locusts, like we need to attack this uh, establishment yes. and just walls and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, how do we do that? And, you know, I think that'd, that'd be kind of fun. It's open world. You know, it's a little bit negotiating into like a uh, real time strategy or something like that. But I think if you well, did it. Yeah. Not, not quite real time. Cause maybe you can have a couple of people travel with you, but yeah. like you are, you are fighting and shooting as though you're playing gears of war. Right. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And what about, okay. There are, you know, it may not be Marcus Phoenix and Dom and all, all right. of the cast and crew because we're pushing it forward a, yes. a, a, a few decades. But there are iconic Gears of War people, Batista being one of them. Yeah. Uh, just in the, in the world. And you, as part of your uh, uh, goal as the Locust, for example, is to seek them out. Kind of like the the nemesis system in Lord of the Rings, Shadows mm. of Mordor. Oh, yeah. yeah where yeah. you kind of like, oh, you take that. them down and you understand that now they're they're collapsing at the seams a little bit. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, okay. We, this is always kind of the famous thing that we do, though. So, if this is the game that we're doing. Yes. You're half spending time as humans. You're yes. half spending time as Locust. It's about the preservation of the establishments or it's the tearing down of the last pockets of civilization. Yes. What is the game called? Okay, so I'm... Here's the first thing we have to figure out. Do we know that everyone is associating this with Gears of War and therefore we can play with the name Gears of War or does it have to have Gears of War up front? Because I think I have two answers, one with and one without. I think Gears of War needs to be referenced in the title. Okay, okay. Because otherwise I'd say like Gears of World. Oh, that's good. I like that. Yeah, it's not I was going to say Gears of uh, War uh, amongst yourself. Like a war amongst, because you're two things, you're two characters. Gears of so War. I'm trying to like factions. Or, yeah, factions is pretty good. That Gears, actually sounds like a game that does exist. Now that yeah, I, I think that's the last of us multiplayer is factions. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah wow, yeah, yeah. nice. Gears of War. Good point, Andrew, thanks. No, I, 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 like, I, like, I like that idea of like, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, um, um, territories or gears of gears of world apart gears of gears uh, of war world uh, apart yeah gears of war low low cost of life <laughs> low cost of living <laughs> low cost of living locust I, I, i'm trying my best no i, I think that's i think that, uh um oh okay no how about okay. a play on emergence day okay what, oh, what is, nice. what is there the equivalent of that like the opposite of, of emergence day um um Descendants Day. Descendants Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. Oh wow! Here we go. Gears of War. Um, emergence. How about Emergence? Emergence. Ge Gears of War. Emergence. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's good. Because it sounds like Emergency, which is good. Yeah, and it also sounds like uh, uh, like Emergent gameplay. Yeah. Oh, right. There oh, it is. Yeah. There, there you, you go. go. We got okay. it. Gears of War. Emergence. Gears of War. Emergence. A open sandbox. Uh, Gears of War game in which you are uh, trying to save civilization. The mm -hmm. last pockets that you have. And also at the same time, plays the locust, trying to tear down humanity's last hope. I think if this were like MMO RPG, like if that's what we rolled, we could even go a little bit for it to yeah. make it almost like a destiny loot shooter and, and have like oh. you're constantly battling against and the territories on a global scale yeah. are always changing. But it's not that. It's not that. It's just an open world. <sighs> Mikey, that's a pretty good start. There. I like that. I that's like that a lot. That's pretty good. I Andrew, like that. do you want to go uh, for one more? I think I, th oh, I think we one should. One more? Absolutely. I'd love to do that one. It, I'm going to stay with, uh, can, I, can, I, can I give you a number this time for the rolling? What, what do you mean? Uh, I, when you asked me for a number yeah. of which one you should roll so we can find out how which random. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you said this time as though you didn't get to do that last time. Well, that I learned from last time. Oh, so you're going to do it better this time? Yeah. Okay. So, Andrew, why don't you give me a number and we're going to roll for, do you want to do genre first this time? Oh, that's fun. It, Andrew, I am a fun guy. 
Yeah, the, stick okay. around. You'll find out more more about me, how fun I I am. Been please, yeah. Andrew. Okay, All right. please. Yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, tell yeah. you how fun I am. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll no, sit no, down. No. We'll have a great time. I'll tell you how fun I am. Of course, absolutely. Oh, I've got a okay. strict schedule that we'll stick to, and I'm going to mm-hmm. lay it out mm-hmm. in bullet points. How freaking fun I am! And sorry for saying freaking. No, it's it's okay. It's okay this time. Uh, yes. Hey, you're. We'll find out together how fun you can be. Thank you. No problem. Tell your friends. I'll tell my friends, please. Yeah, I'll tell them they'll come back <laughs> after last time. I don't know how keen they are, but yeah. Okay, that's, that that makes sense. Andrew, why don't you give us a number one? Uh, I feel like you're purposely not having fun with this. One. Do you want to add anything to that specific number and maybe one plus zero? One. Okay, one time. One. Oh. <laughs> Andrew, it came up as one guy. You cannot make this up. It is number one. <laughs> number one. First person shooter. Okay. Okay. I if a first person shooter shows up, we have to roll again. Yeah, I think so. Unless we're just like, we just describe Halo the game to everybody. <laughs> well, okay. So There's what happens? giant it's ring in the sky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, you get cars sometimes. It's really fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me another number. Two. See, this this does feel personal a little bit. Well, how could this possibly be personal? Was your father a number? Shut the hell up and roll the thing. We're all a number. Oh, boy. If my dad was a number, yeah, he'd be number one. <laughs> to you, in your heart. In my heart. Yeah, except we just drafted a new family. Yeah, okay. That's true. Uh, okay, so here you Two. go. Two. Number 15. Oh, 15. What's 15? So number 15 is Guitar Hero as a first-person <laughs> shooter. <laughs> Okay. okay okay we got our work okay. cut out for us okay first person shooter guitar hero we're gonna andrew we, um i'm just gonna stop the mic right now okay, stop. what's up something um, wrong yeah we're gonna we're gonna need to do producers a, good uh no no recording's fine okay um i'm just saying if we want to actually do this properly we're gonna have to do cocaine <laughs> yeah yeah how much what uh what oh I, no <laughs> what do i have left let me check my pockets mm-hmm Checking his pockets. Mm, about half a handful. Yeah, that sounds good. You keep it loose in your pocket? What are yeah, you, yeah. a maniac? Yeah, I'll pour some in. I'll like, toss it over there. Like a paper clip or something like that? Open yeah. your nostril. Open your nostril. <laughs> wow. You could have sniffed it. You don't have I feel, to. I know. I, I did the thing that you, all the cops do. I just rum it on my gums. Oh, yes. All the cops do. <laughs> ACAC. All <laughs> cops are cokeheads. <laughs> um, here we go. I'll just, I just eat it. Yeah, I just eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Lots of cocaine. Ooh, that'd it's be a like hilarious that spoonful cough. of cinnamon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so Guitar Hero is a first-person shooter, Andrew. Okay, did you have any ideas that immediately jumped to you? Because I got one. Um, I don't, with the exception of I, I like the idea. Okay. Okay, no, you I got you an go, idea, you and go, you got to go. tell me if I'm too far off, okay? Okay. Because okay. then we can come up with something else. But the first-person shooter idea is not the shooter portion of it that I was, like, technically with a gun. I was thinking of more the perspective. So yes. First person yes. shooter. Yeah. And you're really from the guitar. And, from the guitar. No, and, you are the guitar. <laughs> Where's the world fingers, cup fingers oh. rubbing across. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 no, st- not, not guitar, Andrew. Guitar. Oh, guitar. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Qatar Hero. Sorry. Guitar um, Hero. Um, so We're not talking about the French Mbappe? soccer team. Yeah. yeah. Mbappe. Oh, no. Sorry. Not the French. The uh, uh, oh, uh, and, and uh, Messi and Messi. the Argentinians. Yes. Um, okay. So I was thinking. So you're walking around. With your, your guitar. Yes. How this looks, I don't know. And where you are, I don't know. We can figure that part out. Yes. But your job is to give solos to people, mm. like to to serenade them. And so you're just walking up to people and then you can see the projections of music going out at people. And I think it's maybe like, maybe it could be like a hippie simulator or something like that. Oh. Like it's Woodstock. And you're, oh yeah. Okay. No, here. Okay. Here we go. Here okay. We go. I like It's this. Woodstock. And you Because I've got to, a way to add on to this. Okay. I, I like it. I like and it. you need to like convert people to music and love or something like okay. that. And so you just serenade them by playing them in their direction. Now, I like this as a mechanic. It doesn't sound very challenging though. No. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking, Andrew. Yeah. Um, I like this as a potential level. You set up the mechanic. First person, you are the guitar, the, the guitar hero. You're the yes. titular guitar hero. I love that. Uh, from, from their eyes. Uh, so I, are we thinking peripheral? Do we have a peripheral? I don't I, know. I think, I think you, you, I think you might have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. But here's the thing. It's not the typical uh, 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 frets on the screen and then like coming down like it usually would be. You do move around somehow. Uh, maybe it's VR. Who knows? Who knows? But you're moving around. In order to set the stage story-wise, mm-hmm. we're getting two writers on. And these are two writers that have been begging to come together for a long time. We got Jack Black. Oh, yeah, of course. Kyle comes with him from Tenacious oh, yeah. D. Absolutely. And Justin Roiland. 
Whoa. And what I want is for them to create a world where somehow you have to pl play guitar to save the world. And that could be converting people to music, but it's kind of like a, a, a typing of the dead scenario. Okay. Where as people come towards you or there's little things that you have to like play a little riff to shoot at it. Right. Like, and you do it perfectly. It's like, that's a perfect kill as it's coming oh, towards you. Oh, that's good. Okay. I like that. And then I was thinking also like, so if you're playing, playing music for people. Yes. And you're somehow converting them or doing something. I don't know. We uh -huh. haven't figured that out probably yet. Yeah, but is that you, you need a little bit of music knowledge. Oh. Because you're like, what kind of music do you like? Ooh. And they're like, they're like, uh, I like folk music. And then you got to like, which, which folk music do I know? And you got to like go like, like, and you're like, uh, oh, do you like Blackbird by the Beatles or something <laughs> like that? Uh, and she's like, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And then you start playing and you really got to nail it because if you, because if they're super into it and you get the perfect combination, you can play kind of shitty and they'll like it. But if they're a little uneasy, you better nail the uh, interesting. Yeah. So, so, okay. So maybe we do away with the Jack Black and Justin Roiland thing. I, I kind of like that though. Cause I, cause I was thinking more of like a, like a back to the future walls bust in like, like guys, we got to save the world through guitar. Yeah. That's Jack yeah. Black. Oh, I like, like that. that. Oh, that's fun. Um, but the other, the way you have it as like a dumbed down, just a guy making his way through the world. The wor he, he also be the, my least favorite person in the world. I was going to say, there's a level where you're at a party oh. and you pick up the, that's the, that's the, the intro, intro of this. Intro. And it's like, has anyone heard of band, band called <laughs> sublime? And you're like, Oh my God. Everyone else is rolling their eyes. <laughs> yeah. But like secretly you're playing it really well. And that's, when the characters who are voiced by Justin and Jack Black oh, I like are that. also writers. And Kyle. And Kyle, yeah. Kyle, yeah, Kyle's always there. Kyle yeah. isn't a fantastic guitar player. I don't want to be smart. No, name. absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they come through and they kind of lead you on, on, on your path to, to victory. Maybe it is kind of a thing where like, because it's first person shooter, they like put glasses on you and that's how you see almost like a, uh, 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 uh the, the the movie the, yeah. the old movie where the guy puts the glasses yeah on give me a second it's roddy roddy piper yeah yeah they live they live they oh, live sorry, and you can God. see like kind of the secret so yeah. it's like it's like you're you are maybe the first level is like a, a music festival and it's like hey look you've got to fit in okay as a hippie and you've got to convince these people like play them the song that's going to break the spell on them oh i love yeah. okay this is yeah. really yeah. good yeah, yeah, now yeah, we're yeah. talking because I, I like the idea of like your job you got to get to this house party. It's a real bummer. And you got to, you got to like convert everyone to make sure yes. they have a good time. Oh man. That's and like, that reminds me of like the, the video game elite beat agents. Okay. Kind of had that where like you went to dance in order to make, like you had rhythmic dancing in order to solve people's life problems. And yeah. one of the life, the true story in this game, one of the levels is a, a, a daughter just lost her father, like a young daughter. And oh, you have boy. to basically cheer to like bring the family back together. And I think that you can play with tone in that way in this game where For it's like sure. super fucking dark, oh, but it's man. like, don't worry, we can fix this. Absolutely. Black You're going to a funeral. funeral. Yes, yeah. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what song did he like? He's like, well, he was a huge Zeppelin fan. You're like, <laughs> all right, we'll figure something out here. So I think there are maybe the boss levels in each encounter, each level are full songs that you play, yes. but there are those moments in between getting from point A to point B, point B being boss, B for B stands for boss. B, B for boss. Where it is kind of like a typing of the dead. Cause I like that idea where there's things coming at you and towards you and you can kind of like, like do a little chord yeah. to interact with them and like type, typing the dead, you like type a word and the zombie gets shot in the 100%. face, like that kind of thing. And I think you can upgrade your guitar. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, Oh, I'm going to uh, two, two necks. Oh my God. Or, yes. you know, whatever, like some kind of crazy thing. I think that would be a lot of fun. Man, this is a good game. This is a good game. Okay. I kind of want to play this game. Now we have to, uh, we have to think of a title now. Oh, right. We do. Uh, so uh, I, I have a, an easy one right off the bat. The you, guitar hero. Yes. That's yeah, exactly that's, what I was thinking. I, the guitar hero. I know it's kind of like the Batman when they're like, what did you guys want to do? And like, yeah. I don't know, the Batman? You're like, yeah. what about, uh, we're on the eighth Fast and Furious franchise. What do you want to do? Like, the Fast and the Furious? But sometimes it works. Look, yeah, yeah. Fast and the Furious is a really popular franchise. It's a really popular franchise. <laughs> Inexplicably. The really Batman did really well. Yeah, it was a good movie. So are we going with the Guitar Hero? Or do you have any other ideas? The guitar Hero. The, yeah, I, do, I don't have a ton. Uh, the, the guitar hero saves the day or guitar guitar hero don't fret oh mikey <laughs> mikey oh my god every once in a while this is like why we put up with you because like <laughs> for the most part it's kind of annoying and then all of a sudden just drops serious brilliance out of nowhere the guitar hero colon no. don't fret yeah. oh mm. Mwah, chef's kisses oh my god beautiful yes chef yes chef 
Um, that's a the bear reference for you, and also oh, yes. uh, reference to the industry itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reference to working in a kitchen, I guess. I uh, said that someone someone said yes, chef recently, uh, and and I was like, oh, are you watching the bear? Because he just said it randomly, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, yeah, but they also just do that in the. I know, I'm like, no, I know that, but also you've never said that before. So. Sorry. Also about the bear, just in case you haven't watched it, it's an FX show. It's really good. They're they're outside drinking out of liter containers while he's having a smoke. Yeah, and what somebody, is that about? Everyone, everyone does that. Really? I drink it in a liter container uh. every day. And, uh, and so they were doing this thing. I'm like, see, they did some research to know. And somebody writes back and goes, no, every writer has worked a restaurant job in their life. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. That's um, amazing. Yeah. So, so the guitar hero, don't, don't fret. fret. Oh, that's our, our second one. Andrew, I think we got time for one more. Oh, I love this. Let's do it. You want to do it? Okay. So Andrew, I'm going to need a number from you. One. We're going to go. Andrew, please don't do this to me. Two. Andrew. Andrew don't do that to me either. Well, I'll switch. I'll say two this time. I'll say one next time. Oh, Andrew. Do you, what is the point of clicking 10 times? It's random. It's just it's fun the same to look thing. at the numbers go. You're taking it's away the one thing I'm enjoying about this process. Okay. All right. All right. So what? So it's one to 10? Yeah. I can. I could say, so it would make you the happiest if I said 10. Yeah. I, would, I mean, like, I'd be really, I, I, you know what? Yes. Yeah. I, I don't, okay. I don't, 10. 10. Click it 10 times. Well, don't just do it because I want it. I do a lot of that in this podcast to click it, to do it 10 times. And it's my own choice. It's okay. I want it 10 times. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to feel good. Because nine. You're just... <laughs> but final offer, I mean, nine I or well, one. I may as well do 10 at that point. <laughs> okay. 10, do 10. You don't not just because you want me to be happy. It's better to give than receive 10. Fine. One, two, two <laughs> three, three uh, four, uh, uh, five, <laughs> six, seven eight nine and before i hit it this one last time yeah just google random number generator and press generate a whole bunch it's very satisfying is it and with number 10 the most satisfying number of them all 42 <laughs> jackie, jackie robinson. robinson yeah jackie robinson very good all right cleats on boys <laughs> <laughs> ty cobb's got him coming up at you <laughs> 42 is donkey kong donkey kong great okay donkey that's Kong's a fun good one. one and now andrew one I accept that. Yeah. Thank you. This is you and I working together. <laughs> yeah. Yin and yang. Which one's better between yin and yang? I'm not sure. Which one's the top one? Yin? Well, it depends on which way you're looking at it. Uh, oh, that's Doing a, a handstand point. or standing upright. Mm. Or what if it's sideways? Is that not allowed? Mm, then Paul Giamatti just comes and he's like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> I hate this one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he was 36 when he made that movie? And it's like the best encapsulation of a midlife crisis. And he was my age that Holy I currently am. Moly. Wait, his character was 36? He was physically 36. Okay, right? but his character could not have been 36. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Uh, I don't like doing that game. Uh, one, number 27, which is, we've already gotten. Oh, oh World Sandbox. So we're going to uh, do it okay. again. Let's do it again. Number 10, MMORPG. <sighs> Donkey Kong. You know what? That's pretty similar to the open yeah. world thing. Let's, let's do one yeah, more. Let's do on one that. more. One more. Oh, Number one. First, first, first person, person shooter. shooter. We already got that. There are so many choices. How? Yeah, are you shoot bananas. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Coconuts. It, yeah, and it's called uh, Donkey Kong Assassin. I think there actually was a first person element to Donkey Kong 64. There were like things that you played as where there really? was. Really? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I almost forget that. All right, uh, one more time. Number there 20. This is new. A platformer. Well, what the That's fuck? That's the game. Okay, one more time. One. 16. Turn-based strategy. Okay. I like this. Okay, you like Okay, this. I like this because we're looking now in the vein of like Mario plus Rabbids. Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Taking that sort of XCOM style of a turn-based strategy game. Um, Because uh, I'm thinking that sort of XCOM style, not necessarily a Final Fantasy turn-based strategy. Mm -hmm. Are you with me on that yeah, one? Yeah, no, no, I totally am with you. So Marvel Midnight Suns would be another one yeah. that that is that is kind of borrowing this. So key to it, we have to get a bit mature. There has to be permadeath for some of the characters in this game. Right. So in Donkey Kong's cast of characters, you can, you know, if you really like Diddy Kong, sure. We all love Diddy Kong. We all Kong, love Diddy Kong. But we also know Diddy Kong's a little reckless. Mm. And if Diddy Kong gets his head blown off by King K. Rule, Jesus Christ. Wait, King K. Rule has a gun in this situation? Yeah, he's got a cannon. Oh, yeah, he's got a cannon. He's got right. this pirate ship he's working with. Right, yes. Then that's on that. you. You have to explain to Diddy's parents why Diddy ain't coming home. Oh, just kidding. He is, but he's leaving his head in the ocean. Who are Diddy's Kong's parents canonically? Diddy's Kong's? That's a good question. Who are Diddy Kong's parents? 
Let's find this you know out because I, mean? I want to envision telling them that their son is decapitated. Uh, Diddy Kong's parents, uh, Donkey Kong. Wait. Oh, right. Wait. Donkey Kong is not. Wait. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> Donkey <laughs> Kong is Donkey Kong Jr.'s father. Yes. Um, uh, and the current Donkey Kong's grandfather. Yes. Which, that's And it's not Cranky Kong. It's well, Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong. That's right. almost canonical at this point. I don't know who Diddy Kong's parents are. I just want to imagine telling a wonderful monkey couple. Uh-huh. Uh, that your son, you know, was very brave today. Oh, and he fought valiantly, but his head was removed from the rest of his body. Oh no! And what? We, we can't find it. <laughs> oh, right. Removed from his, where's his body? No, you. I have his body. Oh, his wait. head. Oh, it's in shape. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. good. Yeah. No, he's in good shape. Yeah, he's got good muscle tone. His head, though, hmm. it's all the bananas he's eating. High in he's, protein. Yeah, high uh, potassium. Yep. Is it high in protein? You're a, you're a monkey. You tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Well, that makes sense why you guys are all ripped like monsters. <laughs> um, his head, though. Mm. No dice. Can't find it. If you find it. Yeah. Will you bring it back? Yeah. Don't Frankenstein this situation. Well, I, uh, okay. Is that what you're exactly going to do? What are you, I mean, I was going to invite you in to right. see some of my cool tools and stuff, but I think you have to stay outside now. Can you show me your platform that's on top of your roof with two huge like Tesla coils or something? Oh, you've like been that? inside? Yeah. I didn't invite you inside. <laughs> what are you talking about? There is By some... the way, can you pass me those uh, uh, giant screws yeah. next to you? There's two of them. Sure. I'm just, I'm going to assume this is unrelated. Uh-huh. Okay. Very I'm unrelated. Gonna, I'm just going to Like say... you and Diddy Kong, my son, who you got killed in battle. <laughs> yeah, we are unrelated. I'm actually By sure. By the not... way, who are you? <laughs> that's a really good question. Uh, we haven't really developed the whole game yet, so I'm still trying to figure out my own You're character. a game developer? Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be an inception thing where your brain's gonna melt from the inside out. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, okay. So I like your idea so far. Yes. I don't like the Diddy decapitation part, but okay. I think we can figure out the other parts too. Did decapitation. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, but but I okay. Do we want to go that step and say permadeath is like you 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 can yep, yep. they can die they can die so we have to get rare sign off on this point who owns the rights to Donkey Kong. At this point, I don't even know. I don't even know. Nintendo, Nintendo, yeah, will Nintendo, do probably. They'll yeah, do it. Yeah. They'll do it. Um, uh, are we going with a fully voiced cast of characters? We have to, and it's all Chris Pratt. Yeah, everyone is Chris Pratt. Okay. I can't wait to hear Chris Pratt's version of Cranky Kong. <laughs> I'm Cranky Kong. It'll yep, be. Hi, it. I'm Cranky Kong. <laughs> Hello, it's a me, a Cranky uh, Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I love it to banana. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I think that, that that would be the way to do it. Do we want to set up a plot? Okay, in so this, what do you think could happen? I, or, yeah. I, I'm kind of imagining because the easiest way to do it when you're just trying to break sequence mm. in the story of a franchise is to have the good guy and the bad guy team up. Do we have King K. Rule and Donkey Kong reluctantly join join as, as teammates here? Why would they join though? Against what? I think what's it, worse. It would be against climate change. I mean, there's something to be said about that. It could be BP. Uh, British Petroleum. British Petroleum. Wow, the BP company. Yeah, and Exxon and Exxon. Uh, they're master forces all over the world. Or, or we could do that, or it can be like a Tarzan scenario where we're we're fighting against like the colonizers taking over yeah. our jungle, industrialization. Yeah, yeah. that's what, that's what okay, you're fighting. That's against. that should be it. That we that they that they unite against the force of their their homes being taken yes. away. Yes. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's a, that's a good one. The Dole Banana Factory is actually on the other <laughs> side of this of this uh, establishment. Uh, uh they've crossed enemy lines and and I think that there's this element of I want there to be an element of like mercenary ship where you can pay reluctant combatants to team up with you okay. in bananas. Okay. So as you have this turn-based strategy laid out there are risks that you can take because you're limited in the amount of movement that you have. So there's going to be certain pickups. And if you make one, one bad move, you can die as Donkey Kong, as Diddy Kong, okay. as Cranky Kong, whomever. Uh, 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 what's the, the Dizzy Kong? Who's the cool one? Funky the, Kong. Funky, funky Kong. Kong, yeah. Um, so you can take a risk, like waste to move and go run and grab a barrel of bananas, bring right. it back to your, your home base, and then you now have more. But if you die in the middle of that, you're it's dead. too bad. And if you, as as a player character, if say Diddy Kong, you're sending him out to scout because Diddy Kong is going to have the ability to go move really fast, but not be very powerful. Sure. So his turns are going to be like you've got seven spaces you can move instead oh, of three. Oh, I like that. And then, and then there's like a specialty where you can now jump right back to to right. where you started because you're the scout. Okay. And how about this? Cranky Kong's really wise, so he can see further in advance. Of Great. Tiles away. The fog of war yeah. is is less for him. Yeah. We're gonna have barrels on the playing field. 
that will shoot you to other areas oh, behind enemy great. lines and before. And the enemies can't use the barrels because they're humans. Yes. If they get in the barrels, they blood and guts they shoot die. out. They just, die. Yeah, just, so you can stuff them in the barrels. Oh, I love that. And shoot them at their friends. Okay, my problem though is this is kind of like Avatar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, that's that's it. Wait, is this like Avatar? Kind of, right? Like So it's they, like Pocahontas or Tarzan? The example that I originally gave? I mean, they're all pretty similar. Oh my God. Someone needs to inform Big Jim that that this is it copywritten yeah th th this five billion dollar franchise is like this might be a real trademark issue oh shit who owns the trademark to pocahontas well it's definitely public now oh yeah no 100 yeah, yeah oh then no, never mind okay yeah, yeah, then no, we're, we're good, good. Yeah. so we can copy oh, oh yeah as well. we're good in we'll fact steal. you know what the navi are in this game too yeah yeah you know what we're on the industrialized side now <laughs> we're going after these monkeys we're going after the monkeys yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. us and dole oil and oil and big <laughs> banana finally teamed up like you always thought they would you've heard of oil and vinegar <laughs> now we present to you oil and banana have you yeah i thought those commercials were weird like have you tried dipping your banana in balsamic <laughs> vinegar and you're like oh that's kind of weird what about this the oil company dips a banana in oil yeah holds it up yeah. lights it on fire throws it to you they call it a banana flambe oh that's one of their attacks yeah oh i like that and if they were in us <laughs> sorry um i'm thinking of a banana foster joke and i couldn't figure out what was going on so um, Bananas Foster, very popular dessert, lit on fire as well. Oh. Um, I was thinking like Foster's like Australian beer, so I was like, oh. maybe maybe if they attack from down under or something. Like that. <laughs> sure, you can you can get into the in the DK barrels, mm -hmm. but they put everything in like a giant Foster's keg. Oh, there we yeah. go. Yeah, 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 and that's a Bananas yeah. Foster. That's a, that's a Bananas Foster. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or uh um 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 what else? What else? What else? who's who's the <laughs> God, it would have been a great pull if I could do it. You would know it. Yeah, what's up? Who's the the uh, theater actress that was in Anything Goes? Uh, the, the the original Anything Goes? No, but Foster. Her oh, name Sutton is Foster. Sutton Foster. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yes, right. Yes. There's another thing that we could do. <laughs> oh, that man. She's, a, she's on the side of BP. <laughs> there's a joke here that you're not going to get, but I'm just going to do a before and after. For, okay. And if there's one person out there going to do both, we have the exact same sensibility and <laughs> it's out there for you. This Denver Broncos wide receiver also starred and won a Tony in Anything Goes. Terrence Sutton Foster. No, you're not going to get the first name, unfortunately. It's really unique. Quincy Sutton Foster. I'm getting closer. Quintel Sutton Foster. Okay, but we're going to do this again. I don't know. Am I closer or farther from the last uh, one? No, you're closer. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll get okay, back to you. Okay, you get back to me. Um, uh, so, yeah, so I, I like this idea. You can, and and now that uh, DK and K Rule have, mm. DK, K Rule. DK, K Rule? That's pretty cool. Oh, my God. Uh, now that they've teamed up, I think the home base that you, like, when you're not in battle <laughs> yeah. is King K Rule's ship, and you build it out as you go so you can get different amenities on the ship cool you can go and because like XCOM has your base that you're building underground and you can like oh we've done research on the enemy and now we can build this new like resurrection thing sure. or whatever it is and you kind of like place different element like different cabins underground and and the the there's almost like a city building element oh, okay. to it okay cool and I think that that form would happen on King K. Rule's ship which travels around to the various countrysides that you're going to go to in order to uh, uh, fuck up BP. I love this. Yeah. I love this. This actually sounds like a lot of fun because I also like the idea of like Donkey Kong fucking shit up. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I like the idea of like stakes. Yeah. He's like big and strong and he's emotional and yes. he's ready to rip people in two. Yes. I love this idea. How about, okay, so Funky Kong, because now we can talk um, a little bit more about like the the special powers oh, yeah. of, of the different characters. Funky Kong uh, uh, doesn't attack enemies, but he's kind of like that Civil War drummer where he just like rallies the troops and if he's if he's within earshot of them, they perform better. Right, because he's so good looking? No, he's playing his boombox. Oh, he's playing his boombox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I thought they would look back and be like, oh, right, we should fight for that guy. guy's pretty fucking, fucking cool. like, whoa, He shit. is funky, am I right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I like this idea. I think there's a lot of fun to be had we don't need to overcomplicate the mechanics kind of like a uh, 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 uh something a little bit more difficult than than mario plus rabbits yeah and a little bit less difficult than uh xcom so maybe something in the line of midnight suns okay so something yeah. along there and for a name a uh, name i have an idea that i would like to pitch okay. to the crowd all right uh it is donkey kong our country what uh, how explain our like o-u-r yeah just our country. Cause our country. Because you have Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. And it's Donkey Kong and King K. Rule being like, you can't fuck with our jungle. This is our country. Okay. How about DK? So no. D well, no, I'm just, I'm just throwing more ideas okay. out there. Okay. I just don't think we had, I don't think it was like, don't fret. Okay. DKK rule to, to rule them all. 
DK, K rule them all. DK rule them all. Mm-hmm. DK rule them all. DK rule them all. Donkey Kong rule them all. Yeah, and then rule spelled like King K rule. That's good. Yeah. Just Donkey Kong rule them all. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Now we get the oh, Donkey what Kong. About, it's got to be Donkey Kong Country, though. Because I think it's like the idea is the, the land, right? Or, or maybe not country. No. Okay. I mean, that's where we could do our country. If okay. We well, so, so I just said something and said, not that. <laughs> no, no, no. I like I like it. Oh, you did. Yeah. Your words that you just said, you said, no, you didn't like it. Did my words say that? Yeah, your words. They keep <laughs> fucking me <laughs> over. My words keep fucking me over. Um, the the No, so I, I think that it doesn't have to be country because Donkey Kong Country is like that line of platformer video games. Okay. So maybe there's a different word. Donkey Kong and that word can be associated with like the turn-based strategy. Yeah. Donkey Kong something yeah right okay and then and then the the colon can be rule them all oh yeah okay yeah yeah donkey kong domination donkey kong donkey kong insurgents because there's like Uh, tropical freeze that are oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. right yeah donkey kong deforestation (laughs) uh donkey kong global warning oh that's good (laughs) donkey kong global warning oh (laughs) Mikey, you're on fire today. <laughs> this is so good. Just like our oil fields. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know. It's bad, man. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's barely winter here. It's January. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble. It's been raining all day <laughs> in the middle of January in Toronto. I know. Yeah. I know. I keep seeing highlights of like areas where we used to ski as kids. Yeah. And there's uh, not a drop of snow. And you're no, like, no, huh. no, no, no. Ha ha ha. And then I often wonder. <laughs> Uh, you know, commuting back and forth for that hour and a half in our Yukon XLs. Were we part of the problem? <laughs> Did we contribute? Did we contribute to this? Only one way to ask. Donkey Kong. Uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Global warming. Rule them all. Global warning. Rule, rule them, all. them all. Oh, I love it. Love That's it. So That's good, fantastic. Mikey. Andrew, that is the Mikey. last game that we're going to do for so uh, for this day, but I had a uh, an absolute blast doing it. Um, um, any other thoughts? What do, you, what do you think was our best pitch that we've had so far? I might be biased, but I think it's a good Tar Hero. Don't fret. I, I think I think we could have almost thought of a little bit more to like mm. tie it all together. Sure. Like but, a, a story. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. The, but or or even in terms of mechanics to to get uh, to get us a little bit closer to something that was like I think cohesive. Sure. I get that. I think it's only because it's the most unique combination of two things. Right. So that's why I'm like, that's pretty good. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, uh, but I think there's in terms of something that could actually potentially work. A first person shooter with the guitar peripheral would be a lot of fucking fun. So much fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. I'm right there with you. Um, so before we go, I just wanted to give another shout out. Uh, we've got Jay Griff on Apple Podcasts hey. giving us an iTunes rating. Uh, five stars. Andrew, the review farts. I asked, we got it. I asked them to write farts. We got it. Oh, we did it. So if you want to join the farts yeah. community, uh, you, you can go, go on uh, Apple Podcasts and leave us a review. Uh, just five stars and say farts and we'll we'll show, we'll give you a shout out. We will. Or you can you can elaborate. You can elaborate yeah. if you want, but you don't have to. <laughs> farts. Now, why did I say farts? <laughs> One might ask. The longer you make it, the more we will we will read the full thing if you give us an essay in the review on farts we will read it on the podcast and maybe i'm shooting myself in the foot by saying you really that. are but yeah. it'll make people do it so that's good because they hate us yeah. uh well thank you jay griff and thank you all you we love every single one of you and we can't wait to talk to you soon my name is andrew baskin with me as always is the bad boy of podcasting mr bebop himself mikey Aaronworth. this is the retrograde podcast game over the answer was Cortland sutton Cortland sutton That was going to be my next guess. Really? Furnished by Sad Styles Productions. Woke mobs are coming after you, yep.